Cobra is the most over-the-top Sylvester Stallone movie <laughs> since the Sylvester Stallone movie Over the Top. <laughs> it begins with some hard-hitting crime stats. In America, there's a murder every 25 seconds. That not only tells you how f***ed up the world is. 250 rapes every 11 seconds. But lets you know why we need more cops that shoot first and ask questions never. There's a burglary every day. This perfectly normal gentleman takes over a grocery store and really f***ing hates produce. <laughs> The regular police aren't equipped to handle anything like that. We're police officers. We're not trained to handle this kind of violence. So they call in Stallone. All the Cobra. You know he's awesome because his license plate tells you. Not only that, but he's wearing badass shades and has a match in his mouth at all times. Look, I don't agree with them bringing you in here. I just want you to know that. Nobody gives a shit. He shows everyone else what a giant pussy that guy is by just walking right through the front door. There's a whole hostage thing going on, but first things first. Get out, kill them all. That's right. The first thing he does is chug a beer. You understand? Then he grabs the PA system and calls the bad guy a bitch. Hey, dirt bag. You're a lousy shot. But he's not done. He then goes up face to face to talk some more shit. Bring in the television cameras in here now! Can't do that. Why? I don't deal with psychos. You're a disease. And I'm the cure. He then straight up kills the guy drop it. yelling drop it between gunshots is f***ing awesome he doesn't even need a holster he just sticks that sh in his pants so he heads home and you realize that while he's awesome he's also a total dick this guy is sitting here minding his own business and Stallone rams his car out of the way so he can get a better parking spot. He then threatens the guy whose car he hit like he's the asshole here. It's get bad it, for your health, you know? What is me? Clean up your act. Now we see he's also completely fucking nuts. He grabs a pizza out of the freezer along with an egg carton. He then cuts the pizza with scissors and then eats it while it's still frozen. We then see the egg carton is actually a gun cleaning kit. Why does he keep it in the freezer inside an egg carton? And who the f uses scissors to cut a pizza? If you're not confused enough, he does all this to the music of a Toys R Us commercial. Just understand that he is somehow the most normal and intelligent person in the entire movie. The villain of the movie is the Night Slasher. He's the leader of a cult who do these weird dance routines and kill weak people so the strong survive that makes no sense and it's clear early on that he's a complete f***ing moron he and his people kill this lady <laughs> and are completely caught off guard that someone is driving down a public road but with a little quick thinking he makes the genius decision to walk into the middle of the street and stare at her so she can get a really good look at his very distinct face. <laughs> Even
even though she didn't see anything related to a murder, she did see him jaywalking, and they just can't risk that kind of heat coming down on them. So they plan to eliminate her, but first, robots. That's right, robots. Don't ask why, just enjoy them because they never come up again. All right, back to the plan. Now, calling it a plan is being generous and everyone involved should be ashamed of themselves. They try to ambush her in a parking lot, but are foiled by a sprinkler. Then, the Night Slasher orders one of his men to kill her. Kill her. Which, in his mind, means drive as fast as you can into a wall. This security guard's not scared though. He knows that one of these bullets will stop the van dead in its tracks. <laughs> ah, sh I really thought this last bullet was gonna do the trick. <laughs> Night Slasher then gets out of the van and doesn't look the least bit suspicious. Then when we can hear these sirens arriving, he gets back in the van and drives away. So she makes it out without any injuries, but for some reason goes to the hospital anyways. She has no idea who would do this, but does remember a guy that looked kind of scary. There was this guy who scared me a little bit. What was he doing? It was just the way he looked at me. And suddenly, everyone just knows he's the Night Slasher. So what do you think? Yeah, I know. Just go with it. The Night Slasher sneaks into the hospital late at night to try and kill her. But he's still incompetent, so he fails miserably. and even gets his ass chewed by this lady. Remember the health code. Next time, take the stairs. Is there really a health code that you have to carry a mop bucket up the stairs? There is no way that that is true. Anyways, Stallone tries to take her somewhere safe, but now the Night Slasher tries to take him out <laughs> and fails miserably again. They get into a ridiculous car chase where Stallone flips his car around and drives in reverse while he shoots at this truck. Somehow, the bullets make the hood fly up and then the entire truck explodes. How the f is that even possible? All scientific laws as we know it have completely broken down and what should have been a nasty collision instead sends Stallone's car flying through the air. Again, the Night Slasher makes the dumbest decision possible and instead of killing them, which was the entire point of all of this, they just drive away. Now, the higher-ups in the police department get in on the stupidity. They don't believe Stallone. We're not up against one man. We're up against an army of killers. I keep telling you guys that. How do you know that? There were hundreds of witnesses that saw three separate vehicles involved in all that nonsense. <laughs> they could also just ask her who is literally right there. But whatever. They ain't buying it, but they do let Stallone take her to a safe house upstate just to get them both the f out of there. Let him go. At least we got him out of the city. We're treated to another wonderful dance routine. And what the f is she doing? That's an insane amount of ketchup. And now I really hope the Night Slasher kills her because that is fucking gross. But Stallone's horny, so he bangs her anyways. 
They're then double-crossed by this cop who tells the cult, who are now suddenly a biker gang, where they are. I never liked that bitch. Me either. They continue doing insane and idiotic things like this guy who rides his bike right through the front door and is immediately killed. I really don't know how else that could have gone. They then make a break for it and take off in this truck and the biker gang again makes very stupid decisions. They leave their guns behind and are chasing the truck while Stallone easily picks them off. <laughs> Even if he didn't have a gun, the pickup truck could still just swerve into the bikes and take them all out. That would be too easy though, so they just abandon the truck and run into a factory. There is not a single decision in this movie that makes any fucking sense at all. So I guess we're in a factory now. It's the middle of the day, but everybody called in sick because it's completely empty. Stallone knows his factories though, because he turns the exact knob in order to send flames shooting on this bad guy. Just that knob existing has to be a massive OSHA violation. The movie's almost over, but Stallone has a couple of cool lines that he couldn't figure out how to work in, so he just shotguns them all here. You have the right to remain silent. Get it? Right to remain silent? Yep, me neither. This is where the law stops, and I start. Now it's just him and the Night Slasher. We kill the weak, so the strong survive. Still not sure how that's supposed to work. We are the future! No! Your history. That's a little better, I guess. But he makes Stallone question himself when he drops this truth bomb. Murder is against the law. I swear to God, everybody in this movie is so fucking stupid. So, some things happen, and Stallone ends up putting him on a meat hook and burning the shit out of him. Then, the idiot cop, who's been a dick the entire movie, finally respects Stallone. Go, ready. No hard feelings. Go f yourself, nerd. Stallone then rides off like a boss going nowhere at about 12 miles per hour with Bridget Nielsen on the back of his bike. 